you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 11th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 11 verses 16 to 19 but to what will i compare this generation it is like gel- children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another we played the fruit for you and you did not dance we wail and you didn't mourn for john came neither eating nor drinking and they say he has a demon the son of man came eating and drinking and they say look a glutton and a drunkard a friend of a tax collectors and sinners yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends today's reading or uh, about listening to what god is saying to us the gospel reading follows immediately on yesterday's passage about uh, john the baptist as the one preparing the way for messiah it ended ended with the words whoever has ears ought to hear so in today's reading jesus upbraids the crowds for not listening he compares them to children in the marketplace who complain to their playmates we piped to you and you did not dance we wailed and you didn't mourn thus when john came in great austerity neither eating nor drinking fasting and wearing a garment of camels camels hair people said he was possessed by an evil spirit on the other hand when jesus came eating and drinking they said see a glutton drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners if we do not want to hear what god is saying to us to the people and situations in our life we can so easily rationalize and reject the bearers frailty and in the process reject the gospel as well which is actually quite illogical a priest should at me in conversion so i do not go to the church anymore shouted at me in conversion so i don't go to the church anymore it would be like a rejecting democracy because of the corruption of the democratically elected officials we do need to distinguish very clearly between the central vision of the kingdom which jesus left it to us and the ways in which that vision has been lived out through the centuries it was paul who said a long time ago that we christians carry the message of the gospel in vessels of clay easily broken often leaky it is important for us to release that god can and thus speak to us through very unexpected media and agents it is probably true to say that some of the greatest saints had serious weaknesses in fact many of them became saints because of their weaknesses and through their weaknesses where paul thanks god for working through his weaknesses it is important as jesus urges us that we really try to listen to the essence of what jesus left us his vision of the kingdom very few of us hear the message without some form of a filtering due to our history or our personal idiosyncrasies as a preacher i often say that when i preach to 20 people or different 20 different messages are heard and there is nothing wrong with that provided each one of us really tries to hear what god is saying is saying to me i do not immediately push away something i do not like to hear the passage is nicely summed up in the last phrase wisdom is vindicated by the works jesus is the embodiment of the wisdom of god jesus needs no justification beyond the results of his life shown in all that he said and did especially with the ultimate manifestation of love shown on the cross and the same can be true for each one of us amen may god bless us